Good morning. Thank you for joining with us for our morning worship. We come together this morning as the family of God to worship the one who alone is worthy, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity we have together to meet, to worship you, the one who is the one and only true God, the one who reigns and rules over all, the one who so loved the world that he gave his beautiful son to die on the cross in our place. Father, I thank you for every single person meeting together this morning. I thank you each one is precious to you, that you know each one of us by name, that you know our needs, you know our circumstances today, and that you come and meet with us as we gather together to worship you. Lord, there's no one to compare to you. You're a wonderful and amazing God. You're the one who knows the beginning and the end. The one who has a plan and a purpose for each of our lives. And the one who reaches out to us this morning in love and compassion. Father, we invite you now to come and to work in our hearts and to our lives as we spend this time in your presence. Come and shape us and mould us and make us more like Jesus, your son. Father, we thank you for just all the, the blessings that you bring into our lives. We thank you for your provision for each one of us at this time. And I pray that you would continue to provide our every need. Father, we just pray again for those involved in frontline services, Lord. We ask that you would be with them. I pray that you'll continue to protect them, to watch over them, give them the strength that they need for each day. And Father, we ask that you would uh, give wisdom uh, to governments at this time as they make decisions about the future. Just guide them to know uh, correctly each step to take as we move forward and, and come through this uh, time of, of this virus, Lord. Father, we just pray for those that have lost loved ones. We ask again that you'll comfort them, that you'll strengthen them, you'll surround them with your love and with your care. Father, come, draw us close to you as we draw near to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading this morning is from Philippians chapter 2. Verses 5 to 11. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honour and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We'll finish our reading there at the end of verse 11. We're going to continue this morning just to think about what a friend I found. We've been thinking about what a wonderful friend we have found. His name is Jesus. There's no other friend who can compare to him and his friendship, its closeness, its completeness. He goes before us, comes behind us, walks beside us and lives within us. But there's more than that. No one can compare to him because of who he is. And because of the power and the authority of his name. Last Sunday we thought about who he is. And how safe and secure we are in him. When, he invite, when we invite him into our lives. He fills us by the Holy Spirit. 
He takes us into himself, and with him we are in the Father. What a friend we have found. Today we'll think about what an amazing friend we have in Jesus because of the power and the authority of his name. In our passage we've just read together, it finishes with these amazing words. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honour and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. There is power and authority in Jesus' name. Because Jesus humbled himself in obedience even to go to the cross, God exalted him, giving him, Jesus, power and authority over every other name in heaven and on earth and under the earth. No one else comes near to him in power and authority. And he welcomes all who come to him to be his friend. The truth is this. There's nothing that we can ever come up against that can compare to him in authority and power. In fact, it says that at his name, they must all bow. Imagine that. Jesus, our friend, the one who walks with us, lives within us and surrounds us, he has all power and authority. At his name, mountains move. At his name, strongholds break. At his name, demons flee. At his name, enemies crumble. At his name, doors open. Pathways appear. Waters part. Storms calm. Darkness is dispelled. At his name, healing flows. Forgiveness is released. And hope overcomes despair. What an amazing friend I find in Jesus because of the power and authority of his name. When our friend, who is always with us, has all power and authority, what should we fear? And I share this this morning, not as some amazing, triumphant, super-Christian, but as someone who in the past two years has discovered the battle we can all face with anxiety. Being far from perfect, it is this truth, this reality, that day by day helps me overcome anxiety and live by faith. It has been the amazing power in the name of Jesus, 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 that brings strength, that dries out fear, and replaces it with hope and with faith. I am rediscovering the wonder of the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. One of my favourite books for the grandchildren has been The Gruffalo. And I was thinking about that story when I was preparing this message. The mice in the story lived in fear of the owl, the fox and the snake until they see the gruffalo walking behind the mouse, and then they all run off in fear. Jesus is no gruffalo. He is the Son of God, seated on the throne of the universe, and unlike the gruffalo who, who wanted to eat the mouse, Jesus died to save us, and he calls us to come to him, and he brings us into his family, calling us his friend. When we walk through life with Jesus as our friend, oh, how our enemies tra tremble, and even the powers of hell run before his name. Jesus has invited, urged, and commanded us to pray in his name, and has promised incredible results. He has given us who love him the right to use his name, especially in the place of prayer. When we pray, we're to pray in the power and the authority of the name 
of Jesus. In last week's reading from John 14, it says this in verse 12, I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I'm going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. As we ask in the authority of his name, we acknowledge our own weakness and our own dependence upon his greatness. This truth is for all those who love him. And if we truly love him, we will live our lives surrendered to him. Like Jesus in the garden to his father said, not my will, but yours be done. When we love Jesus like that, we will surrender to his will. And therefore, what we ask for will be in line with his will. And therefore, will come to pass. Where his will isn't clear, we ask in the authority of his name. Surrender to his doing what is right. Knowing that he only ever does what is for our ultimate good and for our best. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 says this, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. There is power and authority in the name of Jesus. Let us walk in his will, in his power and authority to accomplish all that he has planned for us, bringing glory and honour to his beautiful name. There's an old song and the words say this, just the mention of your name. Flowers grow and deserts bloom again. Like fire and winter cold, like pure and precious gold, just the mention of your name. Just the mention of your name. Demons flee and sickness vanishes and curses go away. With peace in every soul, Jesus just the mention of your name. What a friend I found. His name is Jesus. Once again this morning, if you've never asked Jesus to come into your life, to be your friend, to be your Lord, you can do that right now. You just have to come to God quietly uh, and prayer and as I pray you can just repeat this prayer in your heart and you can invite Jesus into your life if you want to do that now just repeat this prayer dear Lord Jesus I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and my Saviour. Amen. Let's just come again to God in prayer. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you care uh, about each person this morning. I thank you that you care about our concerns, you care about our needs. And Father, we just pray a few moments in, in quiet prayer. We bring to you each of these concerns, Lord. And we just bring them together and we come and we lay them at your feet. Your word teaches us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us. And Father, I want to pray this morning for all those mentioned on the prayer list. Father, you know each one. You know their circumstances this morning. You know their needs. Father, we pray for those who are unwell. We ask that you would lay your healing hand upon them. We pray that you would restore them again to health and strength. Father, we pray for those who are struggling with isolation at this time. 
Father, I pray you would remind them that you're there with them. Father, I pray that you would just make them so aware of your presence. Surround them with your peace and with your love. Father, I pray for those who battle with fear or anxiety, anxiety at this time. Father, I pray help them to see afresh that you're in them, that they are in you, and that you're in the Father. And Lord Jesus, that you, our friend, have all power and all authority. And that you've given us power and authority in the name of Jesus. Father, uh, thank you. We can speak to our fears and we can command them to go in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you are our help and you are our strength. And it's in you that we put our trust. So, Father, continue with us now as we come. Prepare our hearts as we come to meet and share fellowship together around your table. In Jesus' name, amen. Just remind you again, if you have any prayer requests, please feel free to contact us via the Facebook Messenger or by email uh, on our website, and we'll be glad to include those on our prayer list. Let us come now and share together in the fellowship of communion. Let's give thanks for the bread and for the wine. Father, we thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you especially for the cross. We thank you, Jesus, that you loved us enough to, to die in our place. We thank you you gave your body and how your body was beaten, was torn, and it was broken for us. We thank you for the bread and how it reminds us of, us of all that you suffered so that we could go free. And Father, we, our Lord Jesus, thank you for that blood that was so freely shed on Calvary. Your precious, innocent blood shed for our guilt. Thank you that the blood of Jesus, the Bible tells us, can wash us from every sin. Make us clean and brand new. And we thank you for this cup and how it reminds us of your shed blood. Draw us close to you as we partake of these elements this morning. Bind us together, Lord, even in our different homes today with your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he said, this is my body given for you, to keep a remembrance of me. Then he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. Let us drink the cup together as one in Jesus Christ. Let us pray.